I remember very clearly my first encounter with St. Francis. I was always interested in, in great souls, heroic people, people who seemed to really um, be living out of the, the deepest part of their convictions. One day, I don't even remember how this uh, happened exactly, in the library, I came across this book called The Little Flowers of St. Francis. And I began reading this, and I just, I fell in love with St. Francis. It, it was, it, it just blew my mind. And here was this guy whose uh, idea of being a Christian was not just going to church on Sundays, singing in the choir, whatever, uh, being just a good person, uh, nothing wrong with that, but trying to really imitate and live the way Jesus lived. Uh, and it seems so crystal clear that that's what it meant to be a Christian. Uh, and he did that in ways that, uh, you know, caused wonder and as well as scandal among his contemporaries and the people in his town. Uh, what was this guy doing? A kind of, you know, I came from a middle class background. I could kind of identify with what it would be like to sort of give up all the aspirations of, of my kind of uh, social setting and set out to just live the way Jesus did, you know. Uh, I'm a you know ninth tenth grader, uh, and uh, it 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 just kind of blew me away. And I actually went to a uh, a school that had some kind of connection with the Episcopal Church, and I mentioned to my uh, history teacher that I was reading this book, and you wouldn't believe what what St. Francis was doing, you know, like like I didn't even know necessarily that he was such a famous guy, you know? <laughs> like, like I had just learned about him, you know, discovered. Him. And he said. Uh, you don't really believe all that stuff to you. You know, I don't know what he meant, uh, preaching to the birds or having the stigmata or whatever. Uh, and I, I, I don't remember whether I had the nerve to answer him, or probably was a little embarrassed, but you know, my heart was saying, yeah, I do, I do believe in this stuff. <laughs> um, so, you know, that was in high school, as I said, it was at a time when I was really becoming more alienated from organized religion. Uh, and it was uh, my own struggles later on uh, when I got to college with facing my own questions about the draft and, and how I was going to respond to that uh, that uh, uh, caused me to uh, take a leave from college. I had heard about this place called the Catholic Worker in New York City where there were Christians who were really living like St. Francis. The Catholic Worker was a a movement of lay Catholics that was started in 1933 by a woman named Dorothy Day. Uh, Dorothy Day was not a Franciscan. Later on, she actually had a, uh, became an, a Benedictine oblate. And there were many saints that were important to her and she talked about them all the time. But there's no saint that she talked about more than St. Francis. And it was not that she just talked about St. Francis, it came up all the time. But I could see that this was a, a community, it was not formally a Franciscan community, but there was living so much in the spirit of St. Francis that highlights Jesus' poverty, his connection with poor people, people on the margins, the sick, uh, the outcasts, the oppressed, uh, and to empty himself of status and power uh, to enter into a deeper community with him. And it wasn't just a community with other people, a community with the, the whole earth. And uh, it meant, you know, the, the sights and smells of squalor, uh, bed bugs and lice and vermin. It meant uh, being exposed to craziness and drunkenness and drug addiction and violence and people who were broken and hurting and struggling somehow through that to, uh, to see the face of Christ. That the way of, of following Jesus so contradicts and turns on its head the values of, of a world uh, that puts emphasis on, on status and success and what you can measure and results and bigness and getting ahead. For St. Francis himself, you know, turned that upside down when he gave up his father's name and his rich clothing and went to put on a poor habit and live among the poor. Uh, he was taking a step that, that radically challenged all the logic and values of his time.